Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. I'm working on a double page 6 by 8 spread here. And these are photos from on the way to London in 2017. We flew Iceland Air and we had a layover for about an hour and a half in Reykjavik. And so we spent some time exploring the airport while we were waiting and then we took off again going to London. And I have this here because I know I want to use this. I love what it says. It's got an airplane on it, which obviously fits. It's the right color. So I want to use that. That's the back of something that's going on the next layout. So I have that, but I need to fill in with some blue definitely because there's blue here and the same blue is on the wing for the Iceland Air logo. So I want to work that in. And of course, a lovely blue sky as we're flying out there. And then maybe some green because there's green in these chocolates here. So I'm not sure how exactly I'd work that in, but the idea is there. So this is what I'm starting with. So I'm going to grab out some stuff I know I have that is London themed and then also just some general travel themed stuff. So in the stack of cards that I have that I put together knowing I was doing this London album or redoing it. This is the only thing I had really that was in there that was blue and it's not really the right blue. So I'm not going to use that, but I will go into my regular travel stuff to see what kind of cards I can pull for this, plus find some fun embellishments. So when I went through my regular travel cards, I actually found two that I really like and I'm torn. I don't know which one to use. I love this because of all the white space and that it simply says Bon Voyage and I could do an embellishment here, a word strip, I could stamp. I have lots of options because there's so much empty space, but it's the right blue, which I like. So I have that. The thing I don't like about it is, is it would go over here and we didn't really Bon Voyage <laughs> have a good trip until here. I know that's a minor thing, but that's what I'll think when I look at it because here we're still in the airport. So that's the only downside there. This one I really like because it's got the two-tone blue. It's kind of got both. It's not perfect to this, but it's close. But then it's got the dark as well. So I love that. I love that it's got a little stripe. You can't go wrong really with a nice little stripe. But the downside on this one is this part. I know I can fill this with stamping or an embellishment or whatever. Here it's like, I don't know if I'm already gonna journal here, what do I put there? Do I just put like leg one, leg two? I, I'm not sure. So I don't know. There's upsides and downsides to both. So I just need to make up my mind. So I've decided to go with this one. I just think it brings in more color and gives me a little bit more, more option. So I'm going to do that one. So I have to figure out what do I want to put in there? I can do the writing whenever. And then also fill this in at some point. I may do that off camera. Then I have to figure out my embellishments. Definitely need some green over here. So I've pulled out a bunch of different things here to see if I can find something green in there that will work. Well, I have found a few things that are contenders. So this is a set of stickers. They're chipboard stickers from Vicki Booten. There's a very green globe on there. Now that's pretty big. I'm not sure how I would fit that in because it's too big for this space here kind of, but I like it. I love all the green and that it's world themed. So I'm hanging on to it for now. And on these two sheets of stickers, I like this one that just says travelogue, which is fitting. It's a little bit darker than this green, but I think I could get away with it. And then over here, I just have this little hashtag sticker. So I could do hashtag and, and then stamp something maybe. And then I also have this one up top that says, let's go on an adventure, which is what we were doing. So that's also applicable. And then I pulled out these stickers. These are also, I think they're from the same Vicky Booten line actually as the other ones. I love this one. It's got a plane on it. It's green. It says World Traveler. Again, it's not a great fit for this space, but could I figure out a way to do it and overlap it? Or could I put it over here? I don't know, but it's green and I like it. And then I pulled out these stickers and really it was because it's got the blue plane on it and a passport. I thought maybe I could work those in. It's also got this suitcase, which I love. And it even has some of the yellow in there. That would probably fit there and the handle would overlap, which would be kind of cool. But I was thinking green there, so I may have to double up somehow. But those are my choices so far. I decided I had to use that sticker. It was just so cute. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> so I did it. But then I'm thinking I have to have that green on there somewhere. 
And so I think I'm going to take this sticker and kind of maybe overlap it underneath here on this side to bring in the green and then balance out the huge sticker that's on the left side. All right, I've attached the green sticker and I am going to put some mini staples in there and I'm just going to line it up kind of where the stripes start so that I can get it fairly close to centered. And I'm not somebody who's a real stickler about these being even or matching up or whatever. I don't really care, to be honest. I just eyeball everything. So now that one's done. And I think I will add in, I think I'll say like Minneapolis to Reykjavik and then Reykjavik to London, I think is what I'll do because leg one, leg two sign kind of sounds dumb and there's already a one too. So I think if I actually write it out, it'll look better and it'll mean more. I decided to use the airport codes because I thought it took up less space and it kind of looks cool to see the airport codes. I like it. So I did that and now that one's done. Now I'm focusing on this side and I do feel like, where'd that sticker go? Here we go. I do feel like I really want to work in this one. It would bring in a nice circular element when everything else is kind of angular. This is really only the only circular element that I have. And I'd like to work that in somehow, so I really like this one. The only problem is, is I don't want it here. It would be kind of cool showing through the window, but it's too close to that green. So I think it's probably gonna have to be down here because this is just the engine here. We don't really need to see that, right? We're looking at the clouds. So I may just do that and kind of hang it off the bottom or overlap it between the clouds and the engine. So I've picked out two more things here. I'm gonna scooch this down a little, there we go. So in the middle there, I wanted something, it felt blank. I have these Geotag stickers. These are from Pretty Little Studio. The line is called Let's Go. It's kind of old now, but I think a lot of the stuff is still in stock because I have bought stuff from this line like multiple times. So I think it might still be available. But I think in the middle here, I'm either going to use the dark navy or the yellowy gold to bring in those colors. I'm gonna try them both and see what I think. If I decide to go yellow here, I may find something else in this navy to go over here because I do have like these little arrow stickers here or the camera that I could put on there that would bring in the navy. I decided to go with the yellowy orange geotag there, which means that I have to work in some blue here. And I think I am going to use the passport sticker because it will actually cover up that little arrow there, which I don't need anyway. To bring in some more of the blue, I've actually decided to take those arrow stickers as well and kind of turn them upside down. They were facing the other way, but I'm going to put them down here and just overlap them in this area to really break up that yellowy gold and white background. With this photo, I think I'm going to take that green sticker that was a hashtag, put it right here, and then stamp something over here. So I have to get into my travel stamps and see what I find. I have picked out this stamp set. This is one from Kelly Perky. It was from 2019 and it's called Travel Words. I'm going to use the one that says take off. Ta-da! I did my stamping and I added my sticker so that's ready to go as well. Now as I'm looking at this I feel like I could probably leave that one alone because I've already got stuff happening on the other items here but I feel like I need something here. I can skip this one because it's right next to this but I feel like I need something here probably down here there's a lot of white showing and really if I covered up part of this I wouldn't I wouldn't be losing anything. So I think I'm going to look for some kind of like a tag that I can or um not a tag a tab that I can kind of hang off the bottom or another circular element or something that might work down there and I'm thinking navy again would be the best color choice. I found these stickers which are from Everyday Explorers Company. They're somewhat old. I've had them a while. You can see I haven't used a lot of them yet, but I love this one right here that says en route because I do have the plane theme happening, but also we were en route. We were just on a layover, so we were still working to get where we we're going. I love the idea of it. I'm wanting to put it down here, but I have a feeling it's just going to blend into the background if I just put it on by itself. It does have somewhat of a border here, so you will see some white. Maybe I should just try it. Maybe I'll just hold it up there and see kind of what it looks like. Mm. It's not too bad, but I still feel like it gets lost. I think I'm going to look for a background. Some kind of just 
again, tab or label or something where I can put it on top of there so that it won't blend in so much. Haha, -ha. I think I have found something that will work. I have this die cut here from a monthly kit I get from Ellie Studio. This is way too big, but I can cut it down so that it will just fit this and it'll just kind of overlap that corner. And I think that'll be enough. Okay, I put that together and finished this off. So let's do some close ups. So this is the left hand side. There's the tag with the sticker. Perfect. I love it. And then here's the right side. And I think it's got a very nice balance of the blue, green, and yellow that I wanted, and I'm happy. So another one done for London. Thanks for watching.